Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog. So today I want to talk about being original and I want to talk about a few misconceptions about being original because you're more original than you think. So um, I know that there's someone in my London Real group that wanted to write a book but then said, you know, everyone can just Google the information. Why would I bother writing it? Why would someone want to buy it? A few things. When people are Googling information and they open web pages uh, from their search, they don't read the web pages, they just read the headlines. People are in a different frame of mind when they're ready to sit down with a book or a audiobook or even just um, an online course. Like they're in a frame of mind that they wanna learn, less so than they would be if they were doing just a simple Google search. And also, whatever it is that you're writing about or creating or building, um, even if it's been done before, you might have had a revelation, a different experience, or even just done some different research that adds a whole nother layer to what's already been done. And that's what is something that's make, gonna make you stand apart and gonna make you sell your books. And it's gonna make people wanna be interested in you. So definitely look for uh, what you can add to what's already been done and something that is unique to who you are. And you see this all the time done with self-development books. You know, how many of them say the same kind of concept, but it's told through someone else's experience? And that person fits one niche and another person will fit a different niche. That's just how it works. And you can go to any self-development section in any bookstore and you will see that all across the shelves. Now, I want to clear up a few misconceptions on what is original. And you'd be surprised to find out uh, what is and isn't original and why we think they are. So think of some big blockbuster movies, like huge movies that have people who are just raving fans. And um, some that when they came out, nothing like them was ever done before. So I, a, fir a first few ones uh, would be, to my mind, Wizard of Oz, uh, Star Wars, huge, nothing like that was ever done before. Gone with the Wind was a huge blockbuster. Um, the Matrix at it for its time was a big blockbuster, Avatar, and um, this one was a book before it was a movie by Alice in Wonderland and it just kind of goes with the, the concept that I'm going to talk about so I'll use that as an example too. So all those books, huge, nothing was ever done like them before, right? And like I said, they have raving fans. I mean, my kids loved Star Wars and they weren't even like in that time period, right? I was even like, people tell me I look like Leia so I actually did dress up as Leia one year for Halloween because... <laughs> and I'm talking, you know, like not gold bikini Leia, but you know, like the buns and everything. Anyway, that's a different story. But, um, okay, so they were huge for their time. And you would think that they were just all original, like, oh my God, to think of this, like it was just nothing like we had ever seen. Well, what if I told you that all those movies follow the same exact storyline of a hero's journey? Same exact uh, 12 steps that every screenwriter, every producer, everyone in Hollywood who builds a story knows this formula very, very well. Now, if you want to learn more about it, uh, it's you can read The Hero's Journey, uh, I'm sorry, A Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. It breaks it down for you. And I don't want to break down all 12 steps because that would be a really long video. I mean, people take like, you know, courses of it in college, right? So I'll just tell you a few major themes that all of them have that are similar. So first is the boring, ordinary world. You know, like, ugh, life sucks and, you know, I want more. And uh, you see this Dorothy's in Kansas. Um, who else? You know, Mar uh, Luke Skywalker is on uh, his home planet. I've, is it Tatooine? I don't know. I, you'd think with a big Star Wars geek I am, I would know this, but um, he's on his home planet. And uh, um, what else did I say? Oh, Matrix, Canada Regions in front of his computer. Alice is uh, still in England or London or wherever she is. Then there's a call into the, it's into the cave is what we call it. And, uh, or follow the white rabbit and even, or into the rabbit hole. And even in the matrix, uh, they say, follow the white rabbit, Keanu Reeves goes and follows the white rabbit, right? So um, they cross that threshold into the different world. And then they meet their mentors and jesters. Uh, and you know, with uh, Wizard of Oz, it's what, uh, Scarecrow Tin Man, um, Cowardly Lion and Star Wars at C-3PO and uh, R2-D2 and the mentor is Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, uh, and then, um, you know, it goes on and on and on. 
they have their first failure, they regroup, final battle, uh, collect the treasures, however it is they save the day, save the planet, whatever. And then a resurrection of some kind is the end. And the resurrection is where they come back to the, their world with some kind of truth. Um, you know, and you see this Alice in Wonderland comes back, Dorothy comes back to Kansas, um, Scarlett O'Hara, she goes back to Rhett Butler and, Ta and Tara. So pretty much all these original movies, everything that people just loved and were nothing they had ever seen before, they all started with the same formula, the same story, and they made little shifts. So that's what I want to encourage you guys to do today. Have your idea, even if it's been done before, put that out of your head. Make those little shifts, build on it from there. And I'm sure you'll come out with something great no one's ever seen before. Anyway, keep creating, and I will see you tomorrow in my next vlog. Bye!